Hey, honey, what are you doing? Uh, you just pooped out an egg. What's up, Modern Stutters? Today is Modern Stutter update number two. Second Friday we're doing it. We asked you guys, you wanted it, we're listening, so here you go. If you like it, leave it in the comments below. If you don't, keep it to yourself. Didn't your mother always tell you? If you don't have nothing good to say, don't say anything at all. That's what my mom taught me. <laughs> so, as you can see behind me, we got a big old pile of gravel. You know what that's gonna be for? That is going over here. This is where we're gonna put our outdoor kitchen, is in this area, we got it kind of staked out roughly. We gotta figure out how to get our trusses to work for us, our posts, and that pile of gravel to make an outdoor kitchen. That'll be our next big project. Hopefully this coming weekend, we'll get started on it. We can get the gravel down. Let's go check on the potato bin while we're over here. So they're looking awesome. A good amount of them have poked up through. Look at these ones, they're growing great. This one, yeah. And these ones. And those ones are starting to come back through. So I learned a lot from you, the viewers, in the comments down below about my potato tower. I believe I planted the wrong kind. We did Yukon Golds. So we're not gonna be getting a ton of potatoes, but we'll be getting a good amount still. So we'll, we'll add one more layer of spent hay that way we make sure we're covering up all the potatoes and there's no sun getting in there turning our potatoes green. But those are looking nice. Let's check on the pigs. If we're quiet, we can see them napping. Shh. And then we'll wake them up. What are you doing? I got you. What are you doing? What are you napping? Did we catch you taking a nap, huh? You've been working all day, you needed a nap. Yeah. Oh, now you need some belly scratches. Yep. Yep. We'll get you some feed in a little bit. Keep up the good work. So the pigs have been going to town, digging up and rooting in here. Awesome. I'm hoping to have them out of the winter greenhouse in a few more weeks and we'll get them out under the apple trees. Itchy butt. What, you don't like me talking about your butt? Let's go check on New York City and see how all the Icelandic chickens are doing. What are you guys doing, huh? What are you up to? We better unplug the fence first because I don't want to get bit, do you? <laughs> what are you doing, Mr. Biggs? Huh? Let's go check and see how they're doing with the kelp. They've eaten some of it, not a whole bunch, but they have eaten some of it. So that's a good thing, it means they need some, but they don't need that many trace minerals, which is good, they must be getting a lot from our land. Good to know. The rainwater collection system is working awesome on New York City. I haven't needed to bring over any other water other than what we can get out of our rainwater collection system. We got gutters all the way around. We got them tied together. Comes down here to a 55 gallon drum. I mean, this year I could have a 275 gallon drum on there. I think most of you guys have seen it, but I'll just show you again the setup quickly. You just got a hose connected to my nozzle. Turn it on, and look, we have running water. This is our duck bath. Let's go check on the eggs while it's filling up. Oh, look at all them apples. You guys see all them? All of our apple trees are loaded with apples like that. We're gonna have a good year this year. Hey, honey, what are you doing? Uh, you just pooped out an egg. Thank you. 
Talk about a fresh egg, it's still wet. Thank you. And look at all the eggs. They love this nesting box for some reason. So you know what I'm gonna, ouch. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take some eggs. You are fresh. Dinosaur. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> got it. Stick it over here. <laughs> got it. Whew, you just gotta be fast, guys. Faster than the dinosaur. Ooh. All right, two eggs in that box is good. We'll shut that up till later. And then I saw the Icelandic chickens over here. They're playing on the wood pile. But look how good the chickens are doing, cleaning up over in here. Hey look, we got a chainsaw chain. And some kind of metal bar. I mean, look what they're uncovering. It's crazy. They must be related to the people that threw all the beer cans out on the road. I just don't get people. It drives me crazy. Let's see if we can sneak up on the Icelandic chickens. Watch them playing. Little mini T-Rexes in their element. Gotta get you! I'm gonna get you! Gotta get you! Gotta get you! Gotta get you! They have been using New York City cribs because I put grain in there every morning and it's all gone. So they have been using the mahogany crib. Woohoo! Wanna try to catch them again? All right, that's enough fun. Last night, I was out shutting up New York City just before it was about to start raining. And the Icelandic chickens were all parked up there in the nest box. And then it started downpouring and I had to catch them. What the heck? Every other night they've been in the coop. I think the Bard Rock chicks, some of the ladies, have been kind of mean to them and kicking them out. Got to plug it in. Can you see all the apples? Look at this tree. This tree. I mean, they're all just loaded. We gotta have 20 to 30 apple trees on this property too. So I mean, we're gonna have a boatload of apples this year. We need to find an old apple cider press. If you know of any, leave it in the comments below. Look at them. <coughs> On to the raised bed gardens. What, you want some attention too? You want to be on the YouTube? They hate the Martin and standards. Say, hey, hey. What are you doing? I don't know what's gotten into her. She's crazy. She just wanted to show off for you, I guess. The tomatoes are doing nice. They're blossoming out. Look at that, yeah. Woohoo! The rain gauge has got as a grasshopper. The rain gauge has got under a quarter of an inch. We're supposed to get some rain tonight. The storm's gonna be blown in any minute. Hopefully we don't get rained under in the update. And tomorrow we're supposed to get three quarters of an inch of rain. It's crazy, guys. The comments keep rolling in. Let's see what we got. James Nelson commented, the Japanese make all kinds of food with it. Thanks for another video. I don't know what he commented about, but thanks James Nelson. We'll have to see what video you're talking about. And then we have Diane Cox. Make some jam. Yeah, I bet you some wild strawberry jam would be awesome. Look at all the blossoms. This one's gotta get. Retrellised. There we go. Put the leaves. See? Some cattle panels work nice. This one's got some more. Oh. I just looked the other day. We have a lot of pasture raised bacon still in the freezer from last year's pigs. So we're going to have some awesome BLTs. Can't wait for them. We got to make some gluten free sourdough bread. So that way Gina can have some BLTs. The youngins? Nah. 
Yeah, they're doing okay. More tomatoes. Oh, let's kind of put this one through. This one we can start training it back up. Look at all the blossoms. They're just flowering out. The peppers, the peppers are yellowing up a little bit. I peed on them the other day. It's helped somewhat, but not completely. I'll have to put some organic blood meal on these guys. And then here are all of our, these are cabbages that are starting. I believe this is Brussels sprouts. We got a mix in there. Once it starts getting more in the summertime, I'll plant some cabbage and some broccoli. They're all purple varieties. So that'll be fun and Olivia will like it. Radishes are doing great. Swiss chard, eh, we're not having much luck with it. We might have gotten too much rain. Over here, we got the beets. We got the beets, not Dr. Dre beets. We got the Eaton beets, the purple beets. They're starting to come up. They're definitely slow going, but we'll get them. If we have to, we'll replant them. And then we have the string beans that we mulched the other day. Look how good these are doing. Look at that. Oh, it's the purple kind. Yep, we like purple vegetables here. Those are looking awesome. And since I peed on this garden bed, we haven't lost any more leaves. So whether it was the birds or the bunnies, they're not coming by. They don't like the way my urine smells. Woohoo! They're doing awesome. These are two different varieties. We got purples, and then I think these are blue bush. And then we left an opening, and we'll plant some more string beans in a little bit. And then we got onions. I actually think the onions that we planted outside just from bulb are doing better than the onions that we planted from bulb in the house and soil blocks. So that was a great experiment and a good lesson learned. Don't waste your time in the soil blocks, plant them in the house first. We got some strawberries the other day. Planted those plants on Sunday. Look at how those are doing, they're looking nice. We might get some strawberries from them this year too. That'd be awesome. Maybe I'll have to dig up some wild strawberries and try propagating them in here too. Bet you that'd be nice. Then we got the corn. The corn's the first thing I peed on. And look at that. That stuff is jamming. I started the corn inside the house in soil blocks and that's doing awesome. The seeds that I put out here to try starting afterwards, only one of them has come up. And it's the same seeds that I used in the soil blocks. So we know the soil blocks for us in our climate is the way to go with corn. Over in these beds we have carrots, a few rows of carrots. And then up here we have turnips. They're not doing that great yet either, but we'll have to keep an eye on them and see. We might have to replant a few things, but that's all right, we'll get it. We have, we have had a very wet spring so far. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that we have a very good gardening season. Over here we have the three blueberry bushes that we just planted. Very exciting. This one's really full, that's a good sized bush. And I think this one over here is the freebie one we got. And look, this one's got blueberries on it. Oh, well, they're green berries, but they will be blue. We got a bunch of blueberries there and a bunch up here. So even though we just planted these this season, we will get a few blueberries out of it. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, look, this one's got some too. Nice. Does this one have any? Oh, this one does too, look. And Olivia's rocks, circles that she's made for them is doing awesome. And it lets us know when we're mowing over here, don't mow over the blueberry bushes. Thanks, Olivia. We're gonna go check on the chickens now, but before we do that, we're gonna go in the house. We'll check on Blackie and we'll grab some feed. We might as well feed the chickens and move the tractors while we're out giving you guys an update. There's the pig feeder. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link that right here. Blackie is doing awesome. Almost all of her feathers are grown in. So instead of making a chicken sweater for her, we're just gonna let her feathers come in naturally in a few more days, hopefully this weekend. We can put her out in New York City with all the other chickens. New York City, we built this city. A New York City for pasture raising. You like that song, Pluto? We built this city. 
a New York City. I'm sorry guys, I get that song stuck in my head every once in a while. Here are the eggs, the incubators are doing good. So we keep adding the same amount of water. This one needs a little bit more, it's at 57%. We put the same water in here, and it's at 34%. No matter what we do, that won't go over 35%, and that's why I'm pretty sure that humidity gauge is broken. So we're just gonna keep putting the same amount of water in, and that's how we're gonna work it. And we'll see if it works, we'll find out soon. All right, let's grab some feed. We don't need them much, but just in case we do need some. You want to call it Pluto? Come on. So while we're walking by, let's check on the squash garden. This row right here is our cucumbers. They're looking nice. That row back there is our zucchini. And those plants are just jamming. We'll be having some buds and flowers pretty soon. I bet you're coming on them. I bet you those right there. And we got our summer squash, spaghetti squash, and then the row of pumpkins that we just planted the other day. Those are looking nice. We haven't watered them or anything. And those are looking amazing. And then back here, we have our winter squash. Looks like a bug got to this one, but it's doing good. Those are looking nice. Looks like something or somebody, probably Pluto, stepped on that one. I'm happy with this garden, and we haven't done nothing with it. If you guys want to know how we planted this garden, I'll link that video right here for you. Oops! Man! Here is the main flock of our Icelandics. We have two hens and the rooster. They've been laying fertile eggs for us, and it's their eggs that are in our two incubators. So hopefully we'll be hatching them out shortly. Right, Rufus? You're doing a good job, buddy. Thanks, ladies. You didn't want to lay an egg today? Man. That's all right. We'll forgive you. So we've been averaging about an egg a day from them. Most days we get one, some we get none, and every once in a while we get two. So that makes up for the day. We don't get any, right? Yeah. And then in this tractor, we have the hen that sat on all these eggs and hatched them for us. So she has started laying eggs again for us. As you can see, we got one right here. She's not so mean anymore. She's lost her broodiness. And hopefully, maybe this weekend, we can get all these guys into New York City because this hen's gotta protect these barred rock chicks anyways. I think they're plenty big enough now where they can't get out of the poultry netting. That's what we're waiting for. Shorter here where the chickens were, but it's growing in pretty nice. Come on Pluto, over here, come on. And it's getting shorter and shorter as we get closer to the chicken tractor. See how good of a job they do eating the grass? It's amazing. You wouldn't think chickens would eat that much grass, but they do. Check on the water. They're still doing good. Hey guys. Hey, it's my finger you're trying to attack. Did you see that crazy dinosaur jump up and try to eat my thumb? That's a big, that'd be a big worm. Come on, what did he think that was, a snake? They have plenty of feed still, but since we have some in the bucket, 
You know what? We're gonna give it to him. <laughs> what are you doing? You want a chicken? Too bad. These are all of our leftover seeds we started in our basement and soil blocks. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant all of those and some hay bales. Hopefully this weekend we'll have time and it won't be raining. We can get all those transplanted. And there'll be some more vegetables we'll be getting here. What are you doing? You're crazy. What? You ready to go in? We have two more things to update them on. No, not yet. You ready now? Let's go. House rule, if you come in the house, you better take your shoes off. That means you too, modern status, take your shoes off. UPS came, a fun little package. It might not be that exciting to all of you, but for me, I have soft teeth and so does Olivia. So this is, this is the remineralizing toothpaste I was talking about. We decided to order it. I don't know if this is the one that my chiropractor was telling me about or not, but we ordered it. We're gonna try it. It's in Japanese writing. Yeah, if you can read that, let me know what it says. I surely can't. So James Nelson was commenting on today's video, kelp! So I'm assuming he's talking about the Japanese use kelp and a lot of stuff they do. I don't know if I'd wanna eat it. You guys might eat it too, I don't know. Just. It would be different. I've never tried it before. Do you guys eat seaweed? Leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to know if you guys eat seaweed and what you use it for or what kind of food you make with it. One more thing to update you on. Let's go check and see how our kombucha is doing. It smells like kombucha in the corner. Let's see if I can get the cover off and show you what it looks like. Can you see in there? That's the scoby, she's growing good, look at that. And it smells like kombucha. It smells good. If you guys like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really been helping the channel grow, and we wanted to thank you for that. We wanted to say hi to all the new viewers and all the new subscribers here. And if you're not already a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and while you're there, there's a little bell icon, Click on that and that'll turn on notifications and let you know every time we upload a new video. Did you hear that little chime? I think that's a comment on the, today's video. Let's see what it says. Matt Crandall commented, I was going to say before that wild strawberries are tiny but have so much flavor. Matt, you're right. Those wild strawberries taste so good. And we also have a comment from Mary Goodwin. Mary says, seaweed is one of my dog's favorite treats. Huh, Pluto didn't want anything to do with it. That's cool that your dog loves it. I bet you it makes her coat or his coat look beautiful. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.